what I'm going to make today is a temperature controlled extension cord that will allow you to um, control a little heater or a light bulb in uh, it's good for using in like a confined space that you need to keep a temperature at a certain uh, level so here's what I'm gonna do I've got a single pull thermostat real cheap one that was uh, 12 bucks I've got a conduit box that I'm gonna attach my thermostat to got some conduit connectors just to uh, pinch the cable down so it doesn't get pulled through Bought a cheapy little six foot extension cord that I'm going to cut up. Let's take a look at this first. So, we're going to use this to uh, interrupt the power flow through this extension cord. I got to cut this in half. I apologize for the poor lighting in here. Seems like a good distance. I think so. Right. Split that open. Just having a exacto knife. If I uh, I'm mispronouncing or calling stuff by the wrong name, I apologize. I don't always know the technical names for everything. Okay, so we got ground, a white, and a black wire. Expose them on this end as well. So, I'm going to strip these back now. Um, black wire, which is considered to be your hot wire. Strip that one back. Strip back my white wire, which is your neutral. I'm no electrician, but the internet gives you lots of information. And this green is my um, ground wire. Okay, do the same on this end. Okay, now that I got that done, I'm gonna put these uh, cable connectors into the conduit box. I love these things when I was a kid. I find them around the house all the time. Try to use them in the uh, pop machines with no success. Sorry if the lighting's not great. Should have worked on that. I can go ahead and attach my grounds together. I'm not going to worry about grounding it in the box. Put those together. Put my uh, neutrals together, two white wires. I talked about earlier, these guys, two white ones. You can see that in this horrible light. There we go, two white ones. Now, pull that back 
out a bit. Now, thermostat is going to interrupt the hot wires so that when the power is coming through, based on the temperature I've set, it's going to allow the power to go on or off to the end of this. So I'll attach one end of the thermostat here. Other black wire coming out of the thermostat. Again, this was a single pole thermostat. I don't even know what that means, but they have single pole and double pole on these cheapy thermostats. I just bought the single pole one. You can see that. Now I've got it attached to the other black hot wire coming. From the extension cord, and I will cover that one up. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in in there, show you. So it's pretty simple, but just so you fully get it, you've got three wires coming through here to the end of the extension cord, from here to here, right? The uh, black one is being interrupted by this thermostat. Okay. Here and here. The other two I've just reconnected. I had to cut them so I get them inside this box. And I've got these all nicely uh, put together here. Just gonna put it back in the box. And I'll tighten these down so that the cable can't get pulled. Uh, cable can't get pulled out. So I'll just crank that down nice and tight. Okay. So if this gets pulled on, nothing inside is going to get pulled away from each other. Now I can just attach, and I think the cover pops off of this thing. And I'll just attach it. Conduit box with the supplied screws. Like that. Nice and snug. Okay, I'm gonna pop my cover back on. And I'm done. My extension cord here now, controlled by this thermostat. And what I plan on using it for, I'll show you right now. Bought this light bulb bracket. I got a round conduit box for it. Um, I have an old lamp cable I kept, which I'm going to use. So, again, just strip the end. This guy. This wire tool is pretty handy. Wire cutter is pretty handy for stripping back the wires. Saves your teeth. Again, we're going to use the bracket or conduit connector, whatever the heck they call those things. Old lamp wire. This is a cheapy little uh, light bulb bracket. 
I don't think it really matters which way I attach these. So one here and one on the other side. could mount this in the closet, but I think I'm going to keep it uh, portable. It's more the bottom half of a kind of a pantry closet that I'm overtaking to use for this uh, line uh, making process. Okay, so I got that in place. I'll tighten this down. This wire can't be pulled free. Just like the other ones. Alright. Beauty. Now let me get a light bulb. Here's my thermostat control extension cord. As I like to call it. I'm going to plug it in over here. Off screen. I'm going to set the temperature below 17 because I think it's about 17 in here. I'm going to plug in my light we just made. There's the light. And as I adjust the temperature here, when I hit about 18, I would guess it's going to come on. So it's about 17 here. There it is. came on at 19. That's it. How to make a temperature-controlled extension cord. So like I mentioned, this is kind of the bottom of a pantry that I've turned into where I'm going to be making the wine that I have to control the temperature of. Quickly insulated it with some uh, styrofoam to keep the heat in. Um, now I have my thermostat down here and my bulb. So when I do my next batch, I'll just set this to temperature I want. Close it. Just like that.